Welcome my dear friends. In this video, we will see how to fix Apple Mac keyboard typing wrong characters and symbols. Solution 1. Set correct input source and keyboard type. Go to System Preferences. Click on Keyboard. Choose Input Sources. Click on the plus icon. Select Layout Language. In my case, it is English. On the right side, choose the layout. If you are really not sure about your keyboard layout, then I would suggest you to have a look at this Apple support webpage. All links are posted at the video description below. As far as English layouts are concerned, if you have pound symbol along with three, then your keyboard layout could be British. If you see hash symbol along with three, and the tilde symbol is placed between shift and z then it could be international English keyboard. On the other hand, if you have hash symbol along with three, but the tilde symbol is placed below escape key then it could be US English keyboard. Once you have chosen the right layout, click on add. Over here, you can preferably remove all other layouts. We have just changed the keyboard layout, we will now change the keyboard type. Select keyboard. Click on change keyboard type. Click on continue. Press the key that is available near your left side shift key. Now press the key that is available near your right side shift key. With this, the Mac automatically chooses the right keyboard type, if you feel it is incorrect, you can manually change it and click on done. We're all set, please close the window and see if it has fixed your issues. Solution 2. Reset NVRAM. NVRAM is a system memory that retains some of the settings even after shutdown. So resetting this could clear wrong keyboard settings those were saved by mistake in the past. Here are the steps to reset NVRAM. Shut down your Mac. Turn it on, and immediately press, and hold these four keys together. You can release the keys after about 20 seconds. If you need more detailed steps, please visit this support page, I have provided the link in the description below. Solution 3. Disable sticky keys. Go to System Preferences. Click on Accessibility. Choose Keyboard. Over here, please check and uncheck this checkbox couple of times. Finally, leave it unchecked and close the window. Solution 4. Clean the keyboard. Keyboards are generally prone to accumulate dust particles and some tiny object pieces. Therefore, it is a good idea to clean it at regular intervals. Here is a guide on how to do it. If you have air spray or small vacuum cleaner, please use it to remove the dust particles. If you don't have, please use some soft brush or cloth to gently clean it out. Solution 5. Hardware problem. After following all the above steps, if the issue is not resolved, then this indicates a possible hardware issue, such as continuously pressed or struck keys. If you witness any such key, please try to release it gently, with small knife or a tool. Sometimes you find all keys are proper, but still there is a chance that the key is pressed internally forever, so please take it to the nearest service center. I hope one of these solutions helped you. Please like comment and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.